Welcome to the Figure Zone. Really quickly, this is not a promotional video. I'm not getting paid by the companies creating these figures. And for a quick update, we have 3-0 showing off some photos for some upcoming figures that will be available for pre-order on December 21st of 2023. First up was the Stranger Things Vecna. I'm definitely getting him. Chainsaw Man Makima. And also we have Kamen Rider Masked Rider Zero Shin Masked Rider. Great looking figures. And we have some stuff shipping now. We have Tunchi Studio, The King of Fighters 97, Yuri Sakazaki. Easy and simple 26058RB Dutch DSI. YM Toys, YMT092 Female Head Bust Display in two colors. And the YMT094 Female Full Upper Body Bust Head Display. And that's also in the two colors, in case you want your head on a body with no limbs. There's also the Super Duck Set 084 A, B, and C. Premium Toys, Magic Lord, Dr. Fate. And So So Toys, Prince Rogers Nelson. That is an awesome looking figure. If you like saving money in action figures, who doesn't? Use my Giant Toy Store link in the description below. They have a ton of figures in stock and up for pre-order. And they also got free shipping. So that's freaking awesome. You're going to save yourself some cash alone with the free shipping. They are my go-to seller for my 1-6 scale figures and some other figures too. Definitely check them out. Prepare your wallets. The pre-orders are coming. TB League, Shiva the Destroyer, silver and golden versions. Quarter 1 to 2 of 2024, and they're around like 178, a little bit more, depending on where you're going to get them. Now, each figure has the head sculpt, seamless body, extra hands, outfit, weapon, bunch of snakes and accessory, and also a stand with two different styles. I'm not seeing any waist clamp or crotch grabber, so I'm assuming it's just not pictured. I don't think there's any magnets in there because those magnets in his metallic skeleton won't hold that figure up because he's got the bare feet going on. Now, these, I'm pretty sure from what I can tell from the photos, are the same figure, just with different hair colors and different body colors and weapon and accessory colors and outfit colors. You get it. So, they're pretty cool. You can have this guy sitting down posed. You can have him standing up. Pretty cool. This is an awesome looking mythology figure. And I freaking love that. Stand with the cool skulls and stuff. You can take that little piece off. What's really cool too is this guy's got freaking snakes wrapped all around him and his arm and stuff and his head. And he's got a cool freaking third eye going on in his forehead. That's awesome. D.I.D. R80173 World War II Soviet Infantry Junior Lieutenant Viktor Reznov. Quarter two of 2024, and he's 210 bucks. Now, you're getting the head sculpt, the body, extra hands, lots of clothing for some different display looks going on there. You get a ton of weapons and accessory and some freaking gear. It's a pretty cool looking figure. They do an amazing job with the detail on these guys and I'm liking this new thing they're doing here with this like figure fighting scene going on there fighting the other figures that's pretty cool awesome looking figure keep these cool photos coming King's Toys KT8009 World Doomsday 2023 Zombie Hunter quarter two of 2024 185 bucks now you're getting the head sculpt, the body, outfit, a ton of gear, accessories, and weapons, including that sweet looking zombie cutting circular saw he's carrying around. This thing is freaking awesome. Look at that. That is cool. And uh, I'm thinking this is a Tom Cruise head sculpt going on here. 
I'm going to say it's definitely Tom Cruise. It's pretty cool looking. I'm liking it. Yeah, very cool. Great looking figure. I love the red outfit. These red outfit figures stand out like big time in a display. It's got some cool weapons, cool accessories. If he's based on some sort of video game or manga or something like that, let me know in the comments below because I've been seeing a bunch of these guys. I'm always curious where they're from because the figures all look really freaking cool. Look at that circular saw. 3-0. The Witcher Season 3, Geralt Rivia. Quarter 2 to 3 of 2024, and he's 180 bucks. Now he's 12.2 inches tall. You got the head sculpt, body, some extra hands. The outfit, unfortunately, with all faux leather pieces. You get the fabric cloak, a bunch of weapons, and some accessory. Yeah, it's not a bad looking figure. The head is not too, too bad. I mean, it definitely looks like Henry Cavill from most of the angles there. I think they should have come with a second elixir power activated eyes head sculpt. That would have been pretty cool. So hopefully they include that if enough people say, hey, how about a second head sculpt? If you're finding some cool figures in my videos, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube shares this video with more people. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the action figure news. If you'd like to help support the channel, especially around these holiday times, use my Sideshow Collectibles link in the description below. You don't have to buy the figure in the link, but any purchase or pre-order you guys make, they just send me some referral rewards points. If you guys use the link, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. And thanks so much everyone who's used it already. You guys are mother freaking awesome. Stallone Shop, the Rocky Legacy Collection. Rocky the Underdog. Now we have the standard version for 265 bucks. The Deluxe Edition for $295 and the Ultimate Edition for $395. All are a January of 2025 release. Now at the standard, you're getting the head sculpt, body, some extra hands, gray sweatsuit, gray Italian stallion shirt, real Converse sneakers, a hat, towel, and a stand. With the Deluxe, you get the standard figure, and now you also get a magnetic Philly Steps diorama stand with some golden nameplates. Then we have the Ultimate Edition. You pretty much get the deluxe figure set with the Philly Steps, and you get an extra open mouth head sculpt. You also get the freaking butcher shop hanging chunk of freaking meat with a magnetic stand. So that's cool, you can pose him beating his meat. Great looking figure, I think they nailed the likeness the freaking hanging meat is awesome the second head sculpt is really nice too it's it's tough it's like in order to get that you got to go 395 to get the meat in the head sculpt kind of worth it if you are a rocky fan so look into it pretty sweet looking set i'm totally digging on both of those head sculpts very nice jnd studios and kojin works the dark knight limited edition joker version a now, U.S. sellers is around $1,200. China sellers is around $1,022. And some of the China sellers also offer a pay-in-full now price that's even cheaper. Now, this is limited to 3,000 pieces worldwide. Now, they're getting the head with the rooted hair. It's got magnetic moving glass eyes. And you also get the magnetic eye control pen. Body with a seamless movable neck. That is cool. A pair of swap-out silicone seamless forearms. Extra purple gloved hands. The outfit, grenades with a trigger. A knife, pistola, machine gun, handcuffs, bundles of cash, six playing cards. There's also now version B. U.S. is around 1800 bucks. China sellers around 1590 Also limited to 3,000 pieces worldwide. Same figure and accessories as the A version, but now you get an extra smiling head sculpt, a swappable stand top. You got the chair and his two friggin' dog figures. That is really cool. Absolutely amazing looking figure. They've upped the figure technology with seamless neck, glass rolling eyes, and we'll get into the 
hands in just a sec. But yeah, this is super cool. It looks amazing. It's not cheap. Way out of my freaking price range. I couldn't even afford the in art standard figure, but this is nice. This is incredibly freaking cool. Now, there was a version C that included everything with version B, but had a completely extra additional Joker figure with an extra magnetic stand. That was limited to only 500 pieces. It was like 1700 bucks, and that sold out in like 22 hours or something crazy. Now, the company put out a video not too long ago mentioning the swappable forearms. The swappable forearms just on this C sold out version have movable fingers in them. So that's according to the video. I don't think A and B come with the movable fingers. So it's just saying C type only. So maybe if enough people are saying, hey, we'd like those fingers that can move also on our figure, maybe they'll include them. Maybe they're already done and produced. Who friggin' knows? But yeah, the technology is nuts on this thing. And for a quick 1 6 scale statue. From Comic Unreal, we have the Bakunyu Ushamusume Megu Ushio Strawberry Milk Version. Quarter 2 of 2024, and it's somewhere in the $200 price range. Can't quite seem to find this in the US dollars just yet in places. Now, she's 10.2 inches tall, and she has a removable piece, which you will see in just a minute along with that and that. So sit back and enjoy the amazing statues that are extremely overpriced, but you know you must have them. This statue has the Al Bundy seal of approval. Best part of the whole show. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like to for some random posts. And also in the description below, I've got a bunch of links down there. One from my Facebook group, Join Up. A lot of cool people, a lot of cool action figures. Everybody's talking about their plastic rack addictions. Join in on the conversation and go buy yourself some more figures because like I always say, you're no quitter. Let me know your thoughts on these figures in the comments below. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to pass on? Who do you want these companies to make next? And are you going to get that mother freaking joker? That thing is not cheap. And if you want to see some more action figure awesomeness check out that video to the left that youtube recommends or the playlist to the right loaded with more figures and figure news thanks so much for watching till next video